Welcome back to 15th Street Automotive. Uh, today we're looking at a 2009 Honda CRV. Uh, customer's concern is uh, check engine light is on and it uh, goes into limp mode uh, on the freeway. Um, so they towed it in. Um, <clears throat> It seems to run fine now. I mean, it, they towed it in uh, over the weekend. It's Monday this day, and uh, it uh, seems to run fine. Um, but uh, check engine light is on, so uh, let's get into the uh, scanner and uh, see what we see. You can see that the uh, check engine light is on. Uh, let's get into the scan data and see what it says. Here's a scan data on that. I uh, pulled up the codes. Uh, it's got a history code for a 2646 and a permanent code for 2646. Uh, rocker arm oil control system A bank one stuck off. Um, that is part of the uh, VTEC system that uh, the uh, certain RPMs, the, uh, the the computer will open up a solenoid, an oil control solenoid, uh, on the side of the head, and allow oil to pass through to the camshaft, and it will change valve timing. Um, so with that malfunctioning, the likely cause of our uh, limp-in mode is that the computer is basically doesn't know what what uh, phase that that VTEC system is in so it just basically shuts it down to protect itself so let's see if we can't get into some data and see if we can't see if that thing's working or not okay uh, okay there's a okay there's the switch VTEC pressure switch that's what I want and that's what I want those are the three that I want I don't want this one okay let's look at that in a graph those okay okay that was a uh, 4,000 uh, rpm acceleration and you saw it switch uh, and it worked fine so I suspect that we have an intermittent uh, solenoid uh, or uh, intermittent switch problem. Okay, so now we have uh, RPM on there. We got the VTEC switch and the VTEC solenoid and the VTEC status. So a little bit more information on there. Let's see what uh, what we get out of this on a hard acceleration. Just went into limp in mode. So something just happened. I'll bet if we go into trouble codes, we've got codes reset for. Yep, they're back. So we got an intermittent uh, solenoid or an intermittent switch problem. I uh, need to check the uh, what the oil looks like on this thing. Um, the if the oil is low or it's super old and super crusty or, or burnt, um, that can affect it. Um, but I suspect we have a uh, solenoid issue that's uh, not actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. All right, so we just got back from uh, that road test. Um, the if you'll notice uh, on that, as I was accelerating that last time, the uh, RPMs increased, 
the uh, VTEC status changed, the VTEC solenoid status changed, and but the switch status never changed. It stayed on the whole time. That's a normally on circuit, and when the VTEC activates and, and creates uh, allows that oil pressure to flow th by that switch, um, that status should go to off. Um, and it never changed status from on to off. Uh, and that's what set that code. It set it immediately. So, so our problem is likely a uh, solenoid that is intermittent or possibly a switch that's intermittent. The nice thing about Honda is they sell that as a unit. It all comes in a little, uh, on a little housing. Um, so whenever we replace those, we always replace them as a unit anyway. So if a switch goes bad, we replace the solenoid and the solenoid. The solenoid and the switch. If the solenoid goes bad, we replace it. We replace them both. So, so but before we get too crazy on this, I want to check the uh, oil quality uh, and the oil quantity, uh, and then I will show you uh, a little bit more about that uh, solenoid and the switch arrangement. So as you can see, the uh, the oil is full. Oil levels right there. That's the that's the full dot right there. So, um, oil's full and it's and it's clean. I mean, it's it's not brand new, but it's clean. So it's not an oil quality or quantity problem. So here is the housing back here. So that is the switch. Uh, let's see here. No, nope. this is the solenoid connector right here. And this is the switch connector right here, and it all kind of mounts onto a housing that we, we would replace that as, as a unit. But um, due to the nature of this thing, all we can really do is check for uh, power to the solenoid. Um, it's controlled with a ground, so we'll check power. Um, and uh, we could run a we could run leads off of this solenoid to our uh, to our lab scope and drive it and see if it's getting commanded on. Uh, that'll tell us that the computer has the ability to turn it on. Uh, and then we can also jump this connector here and make sure that the um, the PCM is seeing that the switch closes. So let's uh, let's set set up for that test there, and then we'll go we'll go out, go from there. Here is the uh, operation of that VTEC solenoid. So uh, you've got oil from the oil pump, that's pressure. Now, in the it says low VTEC range, normal, that's basically under 4,000 RPMs driving. Uh, you can see that that oil pressure is blocked at the solenoid, uh, under 4,000. High VTEC range is uh, basically over 4,000 while driving and you can see the solenoid opens and allows that oil pressure to uh, go to the camshaft where it does its uh, uh, advancement of the timing um, and also um, it uh, allows oil pressure to get to that switch um, and that switch is what uh, is the indication to the PCM that the system did its job so as you can see here, when when the solenoid is off, the rocker arm switch status should be on. When the rocker arm oil control solenoid is on, the rocker switch show, should show off. And when our fault happened, our rocker arm pressure switch always was on. So it never showed uh, off status. Uh, and that's what set the code. So what we need to do is make sure that that solenoid is getting its signal to turn on. Uh, we'll do that with a uh, with our lab scope, and then uh, we need to make sure that the PCM can see the status change uh, when we uh, jump that switch. So let's go do that right now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this connector <clears throat> for the VTEC. I've disconnected it, and you can see the VTEC switch is off. So if I jump it. That status there is going to go to on if that circuit is good. And it goes to on. Unplug it, goes off, plug it in, it goes on. 
okay so that tells me that the circuit from the switch to the PCM is good looking here at the uh, wiring schematic uh, this is our VTEC oil control solenoid and that is the switch and uh, actually if they if you look here the they share a ground so they're uh, the solenoid is uh, power controlled uh, from the PCM. You follow that up and over to the uh, PCM, power controlled, and then the switch has a uh, reference to the uh, switch that is pulled to ground when that switch closes. Um, so, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, unplug the VTEC solenoid, make sure we have a good ground, and then we're going to jump power to that blue-white terminal and see if that solenoid clicks. Really all that's going to tell us is that it can work. Uh, I suspect our problem is intermittent, um, so it's not really going to tell us uh, if it's our source of problem, but, but uh, if it doesn't click then we know that is our problem. So let's go check that uh, VTEC solenoid. So I unplug this solenoid connector back here. One of these will have a ground, a full-time ground, and one will have a have power from the PCM. So the black circuit is this one here. That should be our ground. And that's our good ground. You didn't hear that beep, but that's our ground. So the other one, on this circuit, it's green yellow. If I back probe this, plug it in. Now if I put power to that, I should be able to hear that solenoid click. Turn the sound off on this thing. Okay, I can hear it click. Let me pull you in closer, I can show you what I'm doing here. So as I touch that terminal, You can hear that solenoid clicking. What we have on the screen here is my little U-scope. Uh, it is attached to the power and ground of that uh, um, VTEC solenoid. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this on a road test. You're going to watch that scope. And when I hit uh, 4,000 RPMs, uh, you're going to see, hopefully, you're going to see uh, a 12 volt signal on that lab scope. Okay, you can see that voltage go up. So it's getting commanded on. And when I command it off, it goes down. The voltage drops. which tells us the computer is doing its job. I'm gonna accelerate here and watch for that voltage to rise. There it goes. Shows high, I let off the gas, it comes low. So that's the PCM controlling that VTEC solenoid. So there's something not happening between that VTEC solenoid and the output of that switch. Uh, since all that comes as a, a unit, switch and solenoid, uh, we'll be replacing that uh, VTEC solenoid housing and uh, making this thing, getting this thing back on the road. We're back on this uh, uh, Honda CRV with the VTEC solenoid. Uh, customer uh, wants to repair it. <clears throat> uh, 
there's no way to get a camera down in there to show you what I do so I'm just gonna show you here it's pretty simple it's uh, two connectors these are the connectors that's the switch there and that's the solenoid um, so it's got two connectors it has a uh, uh, clip that uh, secures the harness back here uh, and then it's got three 10 millimeter bolts pull it out put the new one back on um, there's just no room to get a camera back there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh, and then uh, we'll come back on and uh, we'll uh, clear all the codes and then we'll take it out on a test drive and prove to you that it's fixed so here are the two uh, solenoid housings um, this is the old one obviously um, when you're doing this job make sure you check this screen right here this is the uh, uh, screen goes in between from the engine to the solenoid so it basically stops any debris that might be in your uh, crankcase that got past your filter stops it from getting up into the uh, um, your camshaft channels um, so make sure you check that if there's a bunch of debris in there then you probably have another problem or you have additional problems so check that I mean this one doesn't look great but there's, there's no debris in it it's just uh, it's just oily uh, but obviously that one's brand new. Also this gasket here, uh, if you develop a leak uh, in the back of your engine that starts up here, this gasket gets flattened out. If you can see this, see how flat that gasket is on there, and you can see on the, th this one here how the, the gasket sits proud. So um, those are some things to watch when you're, uh, when you're doing this job. The VTEC solenoid is in. I have the engine running. We are going to go road test this thing. I've got the VTEC pressure switch and a VTEC solenoid valve uh, with engine speed on the scanner. So as we get up to speed, um, we will, uh, as soon as we hit roughly 4,000 RPMs, you're going to see the solenoid valve go on and you should see VTEC pressure switch go off. And that should happen right about 4,000 RPMs. Just like that, works like it's supposed to. We'll go through a couple more accelerations and make sure it does what it's supposed to do. But as long as the solenoid valve turns on and that switch turns off, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So we just had a bad, uh, probably had a uh, failing uh, solenoid that was electrically working but mechanically not working. Working just like it's supposed to.